Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm not here to cause trouble in the, quote, truth community. I'm not here to cause trouble because, well, telling the truth to truthers in the truth community would cause trouble. Wait a second, maybe I am here to cause trouble. Maybe that's what I am here for then. If telling the truth to people that call themselves truthers is causing trouble, maybe I am here to cause some fucking trouble, man. Maybe I am, bro. Maybe I am here to cause some trouble, to stir, stir things up a little bit, you know? Maybe you've been following a bunch of fucking cults of personality for years. Maybe that's why it took someone like me to come along, to uh, turn the tables over, you know, like Jesus did at the temple, to the money changers that were stealing money from people, making them change their, their currency to another just to get in there. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm turning the tables over and taking out a switch and beating their asses, basically, metaphorically speaking, not violent not for it. Not violently with physic, physical uh, switches or whips, but maybe I am kind of, you know, metaphorically, not met metaphysically, metaphorically, a little bit stoned here like Yon Levi's, but uh, maybe, maybe I am metaphorically beating their asses. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's, this is my uh, Jungian archetype. I took a test and this is what, what came up. Uh, you're the rebel. You see injustice everywhere, and you want to shake up the entire system. According to Jungian psychologists, this type believes rules are made to be broken and is driven by the desire to shock and provoke people. Well, that sounds a little bit familiar, doesn't it? You're deeply principled, and that sounds very familiar, too. I'm even hard on myself a lot of times with my own principles and trying to adhere to them. But you're a free spirit, yeah. And you, you know, the dummies here, the, fluor, the fluoride drinkers and the toothpaste eaters would immediately say, you can't be deeply principled and be a free spirit. That, that's a contradiction. They think people are so fucking simple. They don't get the complexity of a real being. You've been around these robots for so fucking long. <laughs> you've, been, you've been in Westworld and ro around robots and shit. But... Um, you're a free spirit with few boundaries. That's very true. I got to be me because who else am I going to be? I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be like the creatures that, uh, that I see in the truth the community and around here. I mean, just fucking obedient uh, zombies. You have the potential to really change things, but don't be so extreme. Am I extreme, people? You know? Guys, guys, am I am I a little bit extreme? I'm not. I'm guys, guys. I'm not a uh, Robin Williams on on coke in the 1980s or anything like that. Guys, guys, that crazy. I'm not. I'm not on coke. Guys, I'm not on 80s coke. Did you know that guy from the the sanity machine? He called me a douche. He called me the king of Prussia, douche. The king of Prussia, guys. The king of Prussia, where I used to live by the king of Prussia mall that I've told you about 500 times, guys. Guys, Matt, I'm, I'm Matt over at Quantum of Con Men. All right, guys? Bot, bot, I don't hate anybody, bot. Just doing parody, bot. It's just parody. It's comedy. Have a sense of humor. Did I read that already? You have the potential to really change things, but don't be so extreme. Yeah, I did read, I did read that already, didn't I? Well, geez, I guess I fucked this up. All, all these uh, little mistakes and flaws in this video will just be like more gems for you to cherish. Um, rein in your rebellious spirit and you'll see how much impact you can really make. Rein in my rebellious spirit. I wish I could hype it up and amp it up on, on freaking steroids and, and uh, PCP and, and uh, be more extreme and more rebellious in this world. But uh, the mob would probably end up killing me or putting me in prison or, you know, in some dark isolation. Uh, uh, what do they call that? Whatever Jason from Archaics was in, in a prison. <laughs> okay.
you know, the hole basically in prison where they lock you in and you, you don't get it, you don't get any access to sunlight or any visitors or you, you don't get to, you know, uh, eat with the other prisoners or out of your cell or whatever in the yard. Lockdown. Um, what the fuck do they call it in prison? Is it lockdown? Something else. Anyway, um, rain in your, I'm still trying to understand this part, to be honest, on a rain in your rebellious spirit. How can I rein in my rebellious spirit? I read a quote not that, well, many years ago, and I read it again the other day about uh, every genius has a spark of madness, something like that, has a spark of madness. And I don't just have a spark. I mean, I've got, got the whole madhouse on fire, basically. I've got the whole place, the whole fucking shithouse is going up in flames. Uh, I, I've got... I've got so much madness that I can't even pour out all of my creativity in the course of a day. My mind and creativity could just wear my body right out completely. My body can't keep up. It's like having a laptop and you're trying to open 500 tabs in your browser and you don't have enough memory. You've, you've got 16 gigabytes or something on your laptop and you're just out of memory and you just it, your hardware is failing. Um, what you want to look into, you're curious and you want to look into all this stuff, think about all this stuff at the same time, but it's like the hardware just is is uh, is unfit, it's unable to keep up and it will uh, it'll just start crashing. You don't have the memory, you don't have the system resources, it just it all starts falling apart, basically. And if it you know, if it's an older laptop, the power supply starts heating up and melting down, the whole fucking sit the whole laptop starts melting, the keyboard, everything. You know, because you are just working the shit out of it. You're overworking the laptop. And uh, I think that's what my mind does to my body sometimes. And I don't expect anyone on here to understand that unless you have uh, a, a type of madness that's, that's, that's so fucking beautiful and so, so unlike what you see out there in the, in the gray masses, the faceless mob, the unwashed, profane masses, that what comes out of their mouth stinks more than their body if they don't wash, if they're homeless or whatever, or whatever the case may be, and they don't shower for weeks or months. It's just the things they talk about, you rarely will hear them say anything intelligent or anything meaningful or anything that would be helpful or that you'd be like, damn, I really learned something cool or something helpful today or... You know, I got to think about that. I'm still thinking about that hours later after the person said it. You just rarely ever encounter that. You just hear them spewing shit. And it's like, are they worth saving, man? Are they worth saving? What are, what are they worth? You know, what are they worth? What are they to begin with? I don't even know what they are for sure. But they're a different kind of creature than I am, whatever they are. I don't know where their home is, if it's Earth or where it is, but I don't think it's the same home that my home, you know, but wow, man, that, I'm a free spirit, and uh, the, there's there's stupid hippies that would probably come to my page, just stupid hippies, and uh, say something like, well, we're free spirits, we were in the, we were the rebels of the 60s, and we fought back, and you were socially engineered, you freaking moron, you still don't understand that, 50 you know, over 50, how many years has it been? It's been, uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's just been over 50 years later. Well over 50 years into the 60s. You know, when you're going back to 1967. And you still don't get it. Fuck. What, 65 years later? It's just, or sorry, 55, not 65 just unbelievable i'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that these old hippies think they really achieved something and that it was grassroots and organic and not completely controlled not, not a complete psyop from um, start to finish from top to bottom i mean <laughs> ken kesey and the merry pranksters uh cia and and, and uh timothy leary cia and gloria steinem the feminist leaders, CIA. I mean, it's it was all controlled, man. The the uh, Laurel Canyon rock bands, 
They were all controlled. The whole fucking thing was CIA operations, psyops, and MK Ultra, and uh, Laurel Canyon, and, and uh, oh my goodness, it was just <laughs> what a mess. And, it, and you've had all that time to figure it out, to put the pieces together, you old stupid fools, you old hippies. You still can't do it. You're still talking about, we really changed things. We changed the world. We brought peace and love. Your peace and love evaporated be before I was born. Okay, I wasn't born in the 60s, but before I was born, it was gone. It was fake. You were controlled. You were duped. Somebody should have given you a stern talking to long ago. Took you aside and maybe shaked you, shook you by the shoulders. I'm not really for violence, but I mean, just wake you, provoke you with words to wake you up. Because you're old fools that you lived that long and you didn't question anything. You didn't think that was controlled? What's wrong with you? The evidence has been staring you in the fucking face for over 50 years or close to 55 years. You still don't get it. Your egos are so huge. You think you change shit. Is the world any better? based on whatever you tried to do in the 60s. You got duped. Your leaders were all controlled. All of them. Civil rights mo movement too. Martin Le Luther King Jr. is a Freemason and a Marxist. You don't know who the fuck you were following back then. And you didn't look into it in all these years. That's the height of laziness. Willfully ignorant. I can't respect that. I cannot respect old hippies. I don't give a shit if you put the peace sign up. You don't even know what the peace sign is when you throw that sign up with your fingers. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know what that means. And you don't know who created it. You don't know symbolism. You don't know esoterica. You don't know controlled opposition. You don't know psyops. You don't know the CIA. You don't know MKUltra. You don't know what they did with with the uh, acid LSD. You don't know what the experiments were. You don't know what the fuck they did. You don't know how they flooded the hippies and, and the youth with acid at all these concerts. You don't know what the fuck they did. Talk about changing the world and how, oh, see, as us old hippies, we were right. You morons. You were used as pawns on the world stage. And you didn't end the, the Vietnam War either. You give yourselves pats on the back and credit for that bullshit you think you pressured the new world order to end that war <laughs> oh god wow you old hippies have some of the the biggest ego blindfolds on of anybody you're blind blinded by your own egos you old fools I can't imagine being that way. Just can't imagine it. Just can't imagine it. I can't ma imagine being what a lot of you were. You were 20 years old in the late 1960s at Woodstock and the concerts in California and all the huge, huge freaking concerts and all that stuff and the, the communes and everything else. A lot of you, you weren't all in your 20s, but a lot of you were 20 and 20 plus years old had all this time since then to wake up and you still haven't done it it's remarkable i can't imagine being asleep at 20 something years old and still being at my age today asleep to what i was then i just can't fathom it i can't fathom being that lazy for that long i just can't do it man can't do it man can't do it man oh man just can't do it no, all, of, all of your 1960s heroes were frauds. And that just throws you into a rage when I say that to hippies. Every hippie just go into a rage. They hate it. They, you hate the truth. You want the illusion that the 60s were idyllic and you changed things and you overturned everything and you, whatever. What difference did you really fucking make in this world? You give yourselves massive credit and pats on the back. And it's just... It's really, it's just, it's disgusting actually, but it's pathetic too. You're so delusional, so delusional, you old hippies. You should just get stoned and just drift off. You know, you really should. 
he achieved nothing. And, and almost all of you just joined in with the capitalism that you said you were so against, you know, and you became yuppies by the 80s, by the early 80s, after the late 60s, 1969, from 69, and, you know, 11 years later, you were yuppies working in offices or running business, whatever, a CEOs and wearing suits every day, suit and tie, and, and ruling over people, and you were hard on younger people and firing people and, you know, uh, being crooked and get that money and get the cocaine and everything else. That's what you were into, a lot of you. A lot of you. So do I believe your hippie stories that you changed the world in the 60s? No fucking way do I buy that. You were dupes, you were pawns, and you really hate to be told that. That's like, uh, the truth to you is just like holy water to a freaking vampire demon. It's just like garlic to a vampire. It's just, you just revolt. You, it's just, you just can't handle that. You know, duped old hippies. That's right, I am coming after you too. You've been left alone by so many in this society when nobody's called you out for decades. And God, you spew some bullshit, you old hippies. You can't be honest with yourselves. Of course, you can't be honest with anyone else. Can't even be honest with yourself. How could anybody listen to your stupid stories and buy it? You know? Just unbelievable. You tell you just spew garbage, just lies saying you stopped the Vietnam War. As though you were in control. As though you stopped the New World Order. You stopped the fake Cold War of Communism that was fake from the Freemasonic handshakes right at the end of World War Two. It was planned before then. The whole Cold War was fake, you stupid hippies. You haven't looked into that. You haven't looked into anything. You're just a bunch of old fools. Why don't you just be honest, you hippies? Once, you, once the 60s were over, you were focused on making that money. You weren't focused on the truth. You weren't focused on healing the world, doing anything good. Selfish. You were just self-centered. Bunch of yuppies. That's what you were. So forget the, forget the bullshit and the facade. You didn't change jack shit for the better. Just a bunch of frauds and liars and pretenders. Old fools. Pawns, just pawns, useful idiots, that's all you were.